I think the the old world of having a a sock with a bunch of monitors and, and a whole team of analysts that is essentially transitioning into this world of automation and engineering and just using practices that scale a bit more. So, you know, during my time as a practitioner and working in these high growth environments, I, I really experienced firsthand uh, a lot of different problems that we're also repeatedly seeing in the companies that we work with at Panther, other sophisticated high growth startups. And really the problem, you know, that they're facing is that as a small team, you need very low overhead but you also need to run it at a very high scale. So it's kind of a interesting catch 22 that happens, right? Uh, the other thing is the data needs to get structured in some way. We can't just really make use of a lot of these security logs that are in all these different formats and all these different sizes and things like that. We need, we need a tool to kind of put it all together and clean it up for us. We also need a very quick feedback loop. So when we're doing our investigations or if we're doing our detections, we can't be waiting hours or days or you know, sometimes, you know, several hours at most, let's say on average, to get our answers, right? We, we need to know right away when things are going on. And then we need a way to actually express what we're looking for. So in a lot of the current tools that I had used in my career, but also in other, other teams are telling us is that it's just too rigid and we need a way to, to express these sophisticated behaviors a bit better. And then finally, everyone's moving to the cloud. We need a platform that is cloud first. I mean, this, this is pretty much table stakes at this point. And, you know, the world of racking servers or managing lots of VMs is just not really going to work anymore. So this is exactly why we built Panther. We built Panther to solve all of these problems that modern teams are, are feeling. Um, and it's super exciting for me just because, you know, I could have used a platform like this, you know, several years ago when, when I was a practitioner. But uh, essentially, we solve this in a lot of different ways. And, and Aaron showing the end-to-end the -end slide. Um, Essentially, you know, the, the three main things that we use to solve this is that, you know, we have detections as code uh, at the core for all the data analysis, which I'll, I'll go into in a second on this diagram. And then uh, we're normalizing all the data and then we're using cloud native at the core. So really end to end what this looks like is data comes in, uh, whether it's pushed to us or, you know, we pull it from apps like G Suite, Okta, Box. Um, we're going to talk through some of those today. Uh, we also pull in cloud infrastructure uh, information, such as all the resources from your AWS account. And we take as much context in as we can to support the objectives of our detection program. We parse this out, we normalize it, and then we do our real-time detections as code. And then in that, you know, we get the structured security data and then we get the high signal that we want. And then from there, we feed alerts out to our team somehow. So it's either we send it on directly to the team and say, hey, take a look at this, whether it's a Slack or a pager duty or a ticket, or what we do is we forward it into automation, which does that second step of response. Maybe it's automated response, or maybe it's additional analysis that takes into account a bit more context. Uh, tools like Tynes do this really well, and uh, we, have a, we have a really great partnership with them. Um, and then also, what happens is this normalized data gets stored. You know, as a security team, you need to go back and search it. You need to understand additional things that have happened. And the way we do that is with a data lake, which is a fancy way of saying cheap storage with very structured data. So you can write SQL queries. We also have an indicator search that lets you do some threat hunting. So if you have a list of indicators, you can pop those in and then we'll, we'll be able to just go back and pivot over to those hits. And just due to the nature of our platform, it's very open and transparent. So you can plug in other tools on top of it uh, for BI and, and custom dashboarding. So that's essentially the end-to-end the -end of Panther. 